Today's video is on integration using residues. So in today's video, we have to determine the poles of the function f of z is equal to z square by z plus 1 square into z plus 2 and the residues at these poles. So in order to find the residues, first of all, what is our f of z given? So f of z is given as z square by this is z plus 1 square into z plus 2. So for finding the poles we have to equate the denominator to 0. So what is the denominator here? That is z plus 1 square into z plus 2 is equal to 0. So here if I equate z plus 2 square to 0. So here our z value will be minus 1. So here it is very clear that it is a pole of order 2. So z is equal to minus 1 is a pole of order so here here the order value is 2 and next if I equate this z plus 2 to 0 so if I equate z plus 2 to 0 then this is z is equal to minus 1 so z is equal to minus 1 is a simple pole is a simple is a simple pole so after getting the poles we have to find the residues at these poles so first of all we have to find the residue See, for finding the residue of a simple pole, that is, this is residue of f of z at point z is equal to minus 2 is nothing but limit z tends to minus 2. This will be z plus 2 into f of z. z plus 2 into f of z. So, this is limit z tends to minus 2 z plus 2 into what is our f of z value f of z value is nothing but see here this is z square by this is z plus 1 square into this is z plus 2 clear and now if i cancel this z plus 2 and substitute minus 2 in place of z so this will be minus 2 square this is minus 2 plus 1 whole square so minus 2 square is nothing but minus 2 square is equal to this is 4 and minus 1 uh, square is nothing but 1. So here we got the value of residue value here as 4 for residue of uh, f of z at point z is equal to minus 2. So at point z is equal to minus 2 we got the residue value as 2 and next one we have to find out the residue of see the second thing here is z is equal to minus 1 is a pole of order 2. So, for finding residue of f of z, residue of f of z at z is equal to minus 1. So, it is a pole of order 2. So, here our formula will be limit z tends to z0. See here. This is limit z tends to z0. 1 by m minus 1 factorial into d by dz time power m minus 1 into this is z minus z0 power m into f of z. See here, see here. So we have to substitute our order value. So pole value is equal to 1. So here our pole is equal to minus 1 and order here is order m value is equal to 2. So we have order value as 2. So if I substitute pole is nothing but z0. So z0 value is equal to minus 1. So this will be z minus 1 limit z tends to minus 1 1 by pole is equal to 2 that is 2 minus 1 factorial and d by dz of here m is equal to 2 so this is 2 minus 1 and z minus so here our pole value is minus 1 minus of minus plus 1 into m here is 2 into the value here is f of z so here this is limit z tends to minus 1 2 minus 1 factorial is 1. So, d by dz power 1. And this is z plus 1 square into what is our f of z value? That is z square by. This is z square by. This is z plus 1 square. z plus 1 square into z plus 2. So, this is z plus 1 square into this is z plus 2. If I cancel this z plus 1 square and see what remains here. So, here limit. So, here this will be limit z tends to minus 1 this value is d by dz of this is z square by again this is z plus 2 and now we have to make our derivative for one time and substitute the value of z as minus 1 
see z as minus 1 so for sub for the value for making a derivative we have to use derivative of u by v rule so v we have to make a square we have to leave v as it is u dash minus u v dash so i am treating the numerator as u and denominator as v and now the derivative value will be see here the derivative value will be limit z tends to minus 1 so for making a derivative we have to make this v square that is z plus 2 whole square and we have to leave this v for one time that is z plus 2 we have to leave as it is for u we have to make a derivative for z square the value here is 2z minus in the formula so we have to leave u as it is that is z square and we have to make a derivative for v for derivative of v is 1 clear and next one limit z tends to minus 1 so if i multiply this one this will be 2z square plus 4z and this is minus z square by this is z plus 2 whole square and this is limit z tends to minus 1 2z square minus z square is nothing but z square plus 4z by this is z plus 2 square whole square and if I substitute z is equal to minus 1 here this will be minus 1 square plus 4 into minus 1 by this is minus 1 plus 2 whole square minus 1 square is nothing but 1 minus 4 this is 1 square so this value is 1 square so here we got the value as minus 3 so we got the value of the residue value so the residue value of f of z at z is equal to minus 1 so this is of order 2 we got this value as minus 3 and this is also so simple see here we have to determine the poles of the function and again we have to find out the residues of at these poles so here the function value is given as z square by z plus 1 square into z plus 2 so in order to find the poles we have to equate this denominator to 0 so we got z is equal to minus 1 is a pole of order 2 and z is equal to minus 2 is a simple pole. First of all, in order to find the residue of f of z at z is equal to minus 2. See here, limit z tends to minus 2, z plus 2 into f of z. So, we have to eliminate the z plus 2 and we have to substitute z is equal to minus 2 in the rest of the function that is z squared by z plus 1 whole square and that value is nothing but 4. And again, we have to find out the residue of f of z at z is equal to minus 1 of order 2. For order 2 here, limit z tends to z0, 1 by m minus 1 factorial into d by dz power m minus 1 into z minus z0 power m into f of z. Here, the pole value z0 is equal to, see here, z0 value is equal to minus 1 and m value is equal to 2. So, if I substitute here and cancel z plus 1 whole square and we have to make a derivative for z square by z plus 2 and we have to substitute the value for making a derivative you i'm going to use u by v rule so this is the formula for u by v rule and after substituting z is equal to minus 1 so this is minus 3 is the residue value of uh, f of z at point z is equal to minus 1 so thank you so much for watching hope you all guys understand these are the most most important questions repeatedly asked questions even for the competitive exams also so finding or residue and finding poles are so important thank you so much if you really like please go through the playlist once and it will be very helpful for you thank you so much